Okay, recording. Wait, now it's recording? Okay. Yep. Sweet. Hello, this is an episode of FPW Programming. I will teach you how to make a basic password program to open certain files. Now, to tell the program that you are making a password, pass equal. Input box, where you'll be putting the text or what you'll be trying to put as the password. And put this, this text right here, right in between the quotation marks, will be what you want to say right above the input box. So please enter your password. Now, if pass what you entered in the input box is this. Let's say it is test if pass equals if what you put in is test then message box which in other episodes I will show you other parts of this the function of message box and input box and other things and such message box correct password Now, this part's a bit more complicated. You could just copy this down. You could pause the video during this. This, all this just means that it's opening a certain file. And this part right here is the actual part that's telling it to run it. You have to copy every single part of this part, though. And this part right here, the dot run, will show that in between the quotation marks is what you want it to be so what file so but that file has to be in the same folder or you could pathfind it which is a bit more advanced and complicated with VB script so I'll just put it with the same file so how about let's make something file dot txt I'll have to make that soon now else what else it would be if it wasn't the right password would be in this case test and it would be for a while. what could it plans for a while sure you could play as much as what would be incorrect password I never thought I'd actually be able to play this game on PC <laughs> no you always enter a script, a script of even a part of a whole program. You always have to put and if. When the message box, if you have Windows, if it says expected end, that's wrong. You have to put an if at the end of it. I don't know why. Now, save as desktop, all files, um, password dot. And always put .vvs instead of the extensions into all files, not text documents or it won't work. Save. Now we have that right here. Now, new. This will be File.txt. Sweet. I'm gonna be a cat. Khajiit, you mean? Yeah. Well, I actually wanna be. There we go. Now. Ooh, something I did wrong. See, the thing was the Windows script host, which is what helps you program on Windows with Notepad mainly. Or you could even use Dreamweaver, but that's more advanced stuff. 
is it will tell you which line of code and which part of the error, which character. So 25. I don't really need to count that. I can probably see it. So errors. One, two, four, five, six. There it is. The missing quotation mark. Okay, and now this will work. There, it works. Should I be Imperial or Nord? I'm leaning towards the Imperial. Uh, Nords are stronger. They have a better thing. Now the password. See, this shows that it works. Test. Because this isn't open to any other scripts. So it shows that it worked. The password is test. There is a way to make this just stars like you see in usual social networks. When you enter into your account. Now, okay. Now correct password. And it will now open file.txt once clicked on OK. There. Opened. And there you have it. Goodbye.